Good morning reception. Let's do our speed sounds. A goat in a boat. E, E, C, the B. Ch, Ch, Chips and Chops. E, E, a nurse with a purse. I, I, a light at night. Th, Th, the three thumbs. Oo, oo, a poo in the zoo. A, A, a snail in the rain. Qu, qu, a quick queen. O, O, a corn in the storm. O, O, look at a book. R, R, start the car. Sh, sh, a sheep in a shed. K, k, a duck. In a truck. Ow, ow, a brown cow. Oi, oi, a coin in the soil. Hello, reception. Okay, so welcome to Monday's phonics. Now we've had a big rest, okay? So we've not learned any sounds for a good week or so, and it's time to get back to it and learn a new sound. So, would you like to hear the new sound? Okay. It's air. Can you say it? Air. And we say this rhyme, are you ready? Air, air, a pair of chairs. And a pair. Who knows what a pair is? Two. My pair of hands, pair of slippers, pair of trainers, pair of eyes, pair, two things, a pair of chairs. And can you see on that picture there? There's two chairs and that's a pair of chairs. So are you ready? Let's lock that in. Air, air, a pair of chairs. Don't forget it, okay? So I'm going to be seeing, I'm adding it to the speed, set, speed sounds tomorrow and see if you can remember it when it's in there, okay? Uh, we need three letters, okay? So it's a trigraph. A, I, and er to make air, okay? Air, like the air that we breathe. We breathe in air and breathe out. I'm going to pop it up the top and make sure that we can use it to help us. A, I, and er to make air. Okay, so first off, on day one of learning the sound, we have to think about words with that sound in. So got some words here. Now you've got those words too at home in your packs. So it'd be a great idea if you could put on your sound buttons. So h, a. So three letters make this sound. If you would like to chop them up, maybe you could play quiz quiz trade with them. Or maybe you could see how many you could read in one minute. Up to you. Have a little bit of fun with it. But first of all, will you read with me? Yeah? Okay, off we go. Air. And again. Air. Hair. Like hair. Maybe you could put hair in a sentence. Hair. I don't want to cut my hair. Or her hair is brown. Anything, anything can you put hair in a sentence? Let's see. Trying the next one. Off we go. Ch. 
air. And again, ch, air, ch, chair. Like in the rhyme, I am sitting on a chair or a pair of chairs. <gasps> Fabulous. So chair is just one, isn't it? Okay, let's read another word. Off we go. P, air, p, air. Pear. Did you get it? Pear. Like two. A pair of... <laughs> what can we put? What else can I... A pair of... Socks. A pair of... Hands. I can't think of any more. A pair of shoulders. Do you have a pair of shoulders? Well, you've got to, haven't you? So, yeah. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? See if you can find a pair of something. Okay. Next one. Off we go. Air. Again, air. Fair. fair. Like, I went to the fair. Or, that is not fair. Maybe you could put fair in a sentence. <sighs> Back to the beginning of these words. Okay, so we are going to see if we can write some of those words. All right, now I'm going to start with fair. Okay. Fair, the first sound, air. So, up and down the flower to the roots, across for the leaves. Okay, and air. Oh, it's my sound of the day, air. And I'm going to use this to help me. I need air. Ah, I, er. Okay. Ah, I, and er, okay? So here I've not joined mine up, okay? Fair. Put my sound buttons on. Fair. Ooh, bit longer. Fair, okay? Now I'm going to choose the next one. <gasps> hair. What's that first sound in hair? Can you hear it? Hair, good. Hair. Right. Down the horse's neck to the hooves and over his back. H is a single sound on its own. H, air. I'm going to write my sound of the day. A, I, er. I might double on the top. Okay, hair, fair. Let's think of some more. Hair, fair. I am sitting on a chair. Ch, ooh. Chips and chops. That's a digraph. I can, I can remember that sound. I need a k and a h, h, h. Good. So ch is two letters that make that sound. K and h. Okay, remembering h again is a tall letter. Ch air. <gasps> just like oh, just like in the rhyme. Ch air. Oh, I'm going to be really fancy this time. I'm going to join my letters together. So I go from my at and then I go straight up. Ooh, and then I go up again. <gasps> Whoa, that is so fancy. Chair. See if you can give just one, just one joining up. See if you can give that a go. Um, so we've got fair, hair, chair. Ooh, what about when I've got two things? I've got a pair. Pair. Not like the pair we eat though, is it that? Because that's different again. Oh, so difficult, all this um, English spelling, all this English language. Pair. P. Air. I can do that. P. Air. 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 A pair of chairs. Let it help me, it's right there. Ah. What do I need next? I. What's the last sound I need for air? Uh, good. P, uh, okay. Now, oh, I've got one. I can go up the stairs. <gasps> Shall we stretch stairs and try and write it together? Okay, are you ready? Stairs. Off we go. Stairs. Oh, that was hard. And again, stairs. Whoa, stairs. 
Wow. Right, what's my first sound? That's good. I can I can hear s up and slither down the snake. Now I think there's a sound trying to trick me. St as st. St as as a pair of chairs. Sound of the day. That's where it comes in. Ah. E er. Stair. Oh, I think I said stairs, like lots of stairs. I think I'm missing a sound. Let's listen again. St -s. Oh, that's my sound that's missing. S up and slither down the snake. Let's put my sound buttons on this and then it looks better. S -s. Stairs. Okay, wow, now I've done all of my words and I might even want to practice just writing air a few times, okay? You might want to practice it not joined up or you might want to, oh, you can't see. You might want to practice it um, joined up together like I did on that fancy one there. But give it a practice so that you remember and lock it in, okay? So, good luck reception. I look forward to seeing your air words later on. Bye.